Hey guys, this is Tyler Patrick from the Road Assist Department. Uh, I want to take a minute to reach out and talk to you guys about some winter tips. Uh, here we are towards the end of December, starting off on you know January uh, 2021. So uh, the cold weather is getting ready to start moving in and in a big force. So we really want to reach out and make sure everybody's prepared um, to start handling these winter issues out on the road. So. Uh, first thing you'll notice in front of me is fuel treatment. This is probably our biggest issue in the winter is making sure that we keep our diesel fuel treated uh, to prevent gelling while we're out in these cold weather um, environments. So this here is the power or Penray uh, power product. What we do with this is we sell this here at the terminals. This is for the truck and the reefers as well. Um, each one of these individual anti-gels, you're going to have to read the instructions on the back to see what kind of mixture you're going to need for the amount of fuel that you're putting in at that time. So each one's different. But when in doubt, more is better. You're not gonna over treat your fuel. So if you're ever you know, trying to figure out the mathematical equation at the truck stop, just go ahead and dump in some more. Typically these are gonna treat about 250 gallons uh, per bottle. Um, with that, that gives you 100 gallons on your driver's side tank, 100 gallons on your passenger side tank, and then enough to treat the reefer from a completely empty to a full tank as well. The product I have right here called Power Service 911. This is what we want to carry on the truck, at least probably three bottles with you, in case we actually start to see signs of fuel gelling. Uh, those signs are going to include sluggish throttle, low power, maybe the truck starts sputtering a little bit. It might even shut all the way down to where it won't run. We want to go ahead and dump some of this product in the, in the red bottle into each tank. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring the fuel from like a wax state back to liquid, and hopefully we can get the unit running without having to dispatch any sort of road service or get you towed to a shop where we can get that fuel handled back and get your truck rolling. Um, another item we want to talk about is going to be jumper cables. Jumper cables can literally be a life and death situation. If you're on the side of the road or in a truck stop and don't have a way to get your truck running, um, it, it gets cold out there. So jumper cables can come into play in a lot of different scenarios. Uh, the major one being obviously jumping the truck. Um, we can use the reefer trailer or a truck um, also at the truck stop next to you to jump start your truck. Uh, you can also use it, let's say your APU goes out and you need to keep the inverter going for your fridge, CPAP, whatever personal appliances you have in the truck. You can hook the jumper cables up from a reefer battery to your tractor, the jump post on the back, and that's going to allow your truck to stay charged in order to keep using those appliances and things inside. Windshield wipers. A uh, big thing is, is ice and snow accumulating on the windshield. We want to make sure we have a good de-icing windshield washer fluid and as well as some winter blades. This is going to help ice accumulation from the windshield, keep from building up, maintain that visibility going down the road, ultimately keep you safe. Tire chains can be huge as well. Um, you get stuck in a situation, you can stop, throw out some tire chains. You don't even have to really put them on all the time, but if you're trying to just get going from a truck stop or something, laying the chains down in front of the tires and then driving over them is, is a huge benefit versus spending hundreds of dollars on a tow truck to come out and just pull you a couple of feet. Uh, kitty litter is also a good trick for that. You can go inside to the truck stop, buy some kitty litter, things like that to lay down to try and get any sort of traction underneath the tires that you can. Another thing we'd like you to keep in mind is our winter service specials that we offer at all three of our major prime terminals. So Salt Lake, Pittston, and Springfield. Uh, what this service special is, it starts out, it's about $300, give or take a little bit. What this is going to do is it's going to make sure your truck's ready for winter. They're going to go through, check your batteries, check your bunk heater, go through the coolant system. I mean, really go through an in-depth in, uh, inspection of your truck to make sure that when you get out on the road, the truck's going to be ready to make money just like you are as well. Um, you know, a big, big safety thing during the winter is making sure that, you know, not only the truck is ready for the weather, but you yourself are too. So really encourage people to make sure they have a good pair of winter boots, gloves, a hat, coat, um, extra food and water on the truck. A lot of times you guys know very well that these interstates will shut down due to weather and you might be stuck at a rest area without, you know, these sort of resources. So making sure that you have rations for a couple days to be in the truck is a really good idea. Um, you never know what's going to happen when you get out there. Ultimately, safety is a huge thing, so making sure that you're paying attention while going down the road, making sure we're, you know, we're paying attention, hands-free items, watching what's going on, looking out for these, these big you know, accidents out on the road, driving the appropriate speed for the conditions is always going to be huge. Making sure that your, your safety is number one. That's, that's our biggest focus. So, Really hope this has been a helpful video for you guys. Really hope everybody can stay safe out on the road. Always remember, you're the captain of the ship. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, Feel free to leave a comment below or just reach out directly to your maintenance advisor. We'll be more than happy to help you out with any of these items or making sure that you're set to get back out on the road. Take care.